Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tip of the Week. So uh, what we're going to look at today is court movement from the baseline. So basically, the title for today's uh, tip is how to move more effectively on the baseline. OK, so most of us, when we're learning and when we're playing, uh, we're used to just moving that lateral movement side to side. OK. And um, a lot of players, you know, learn how to do that. And that is kind of the way they play. That's the only um, thing that's ever really been introduced to them. So what I'd like to talk to you about today is um, something actually it has been around for a long time. Um, but I, I, I know in our area, I don't hear about it very much, but uh, it's called T, or it's, sorry, it's called V movement okay so v movement you know we, we use it more a lot of times when we're coming into net because we're cutting it off and we're trying to go forward but that v movement is can be used at the baseline now uh the difference between that and then just moving side to side is there's a number of advantages one you're not moving as far on the court okay so you're cutting off you're cutting off angles so uh, you're taking it sooner, you're in much better position on the court, okay? The other thing is that it helps you actually, you're taking it sooner, so you're giving your opponent less time. Even if they've hit a good angled shot, you're giving that opponent less time to react to the shot, okay? Three, you're moving forward to the ball. So it's not, when you're moving side to side, laterally, even though you step into the ball, it's still not the same as, your movement and your body motion going to the ball okay so you're actually you're, you're in much better position you're actually not moving as much uh you have uh, better shots that you can use and um again good positioning and you're not as far out of the court so you're not taking it so deep the other thing that um is important like for somebody like me because i'm short okay i don't want to be taking balls up around my ears all the time okay, or above my head. So uh, if I use that V movement at the back, I actually am able to take the ball at a lot better height, okay? So I'm taking it below the shoulder as opposed to around my ears all the time, especially with the use of top spin and the power that's in the rackets today, because the, the, the spin is, is um, you know, uh, and much more emphasized now with the ball because of the strings and the rackets. So for me, like it's essential that I do that V movement because if I just move side to side along the baseline, I'm taking everything above my head or around my ears all the time if they're using heavy topspin. Okay, so we're going to kind of take a look at this. I've got a few pictures. So um, I'm going to share this with you. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. This is what you're used to seeing. So this is the movement here along the baseline, just going, you know, laterally, side to side to take the ball. Okay. Now, the thing with this is if you have a player that hits a really good angled shot, right? So I'm going to try and do this with the arrow. Look how far out of the court I am taking that ball. Okay. You see that, right? So if the line is from here, okay, I'm past the doubles line taking that ball. All right, be the same thing if it was on this side. The further more angle they have, look how far I would be out of the court. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at uh, the V system or V movement here. So now if I do that same shot, you'll know it's, that's the actual movement. So it's not side to side. We actually start with a V and depending on where the ball is, we go to the ball. So we're cutting off the angle to the ball, right? So if I had that same shot that I'm hitting, that they're hitting it, right? Look at where I'm taking it. I'm in a much better position to take that ball, all right? I'm not moving as far out of the court. So I'm not gonna be so far behind the baseline to take that ball, all right? So what we're going to do is, um, I, you know, it, this might seem a little strange if you've never seen this or heard about it, but actually this is quite effective 
Uh, and also, especially for longer matches, because if it's a long match, you're not moving as much doing this way of movement, this type of movement, the V movement. If you're doing the lateral side to side, it could be a really long match. It might be a test, a real test of your stamina. Okay, nothing wrong with that, but uh, just be aware that if you're using this V method, you're actually not moving as far, okay, to get the ball. All right, so what we're gonna do now is, um, we're gonna move on and stop that sharing right there, okay? And uh, you're gonna hear from a player who was number one in the world, okay? Uh, very good player, actually quite a good coach as well. So I'm gonna let you listen to what she says about it. So she's talking about this uh, V movement, okay? So let me share the screen. And it's uh, Martina Navatilova we're gonna listen to. So this is Martina. She's explaining the T movement, showing that they just move side to side, most players, which is the one probably most of you are familiar with. But uh, she's talking about uh, V tennis and that um, she, you know, I, really loves this because of the advantages that you have. So you notice how she's moving like a V, right? Back to neutral, then a V. Now she's talking about four advantages that she has. Here they are. First one, closer to the net. So when you're closer to the net, good things will happen. You see, how she set up now, she can go for the down the line shot. Boom. Either one, right? So look at where her contact is, see? So it's a good contact point there. Yeah. So if it's a short ball she's talking about, then you're going to take it really low, like at your shoelaces. And if you're going just that lateral movement side to side, it's a deep ball, you're gonna wind up way behind the baseline. So you cut off a lot more angles when you're doing uh, the V tennis here, coming in. Here's the third advantage. You're taking time away from your opponent. So she's set now, so watch. She sees that, she's got it set down the line, bang. She can give her opponent a time. So look at look at the movement here. Lateral, look at how far she's got to move on that lateral movement as opposed to the V tennis. So she talks about how you're saving energy in a long match. So this is a this is a way to move smarter on the court at the baseline. Okay, so there you heard it, you know, from a number one player in the world um, and had a great career. So, you know, it might take a little bit of time to get used to moving to the ball, like forward more, but there's so many advantages to doing that, as you heard from Martina as well. So uh, the key thing is, one, that if we're doing that V movement, right, we're actually taking the ball sooner, which gives our opponent less time, and, and Martina highlighted that point as well, okay? We're also not moving as far, all right? We also have better angles on the court, and we're moving to the net. So if we're moving to the net, like she said, good things happen when you're moving forward to the net, all right? The disadvantage of if we're not using that V movement and we're doing the lateral is that we are, wind up we're waiting for the ball we wind up taking the ball way behind the baseline so that's giving our opponent more time okay so uh you know I, this is a good good movement to really incorporate into your game you're going to find wow you know 
a big difference. Again, the height of the ball that you're able to take it at, you know, you're going to take it at, at a spot where you're feeling more comfortable to hit the ball, as opposed to taking it above your shoulder or at your shoulder, or if you're, you know, so too far, far behind the baseline, taking out your shoelaces, right? Okay, on a short ball. So how are we going to practice this? All right, so to practice this, shadow stroke, all right? Set up some, um, like you, you can have some uh, markers or something that you can use as a guide, maybe even a pylon to go to, and just go from behind the baseline in your neutral position and try that V stroke with the forehand. Come back, okay, to your neutral position, go and backhand, okay? So you're doing it side to side, but moving in that V movement as opposed to just laterally side to side. Once you're more comfortable with that, then start adding the ball. So if you just have somebody drop feed some balls to you, okay? So you get used to that type of movement going to the court, okay? When you're going to hit. And then from the other side, maybe just have them feed a few from the other side. Then what you can do is you can have the player on the other side where you're basically, uh, for now, right? You're going to hit it to them up the middle and have them move you side to side and see how you do in that. All right. If you're using that V movement, you're going to find you're not quite as tired because you're not taking as many steps. And you'll see also from that the angles that you do have, like where you can put the ball from there. Right. Okay. So shadow stroking is the key adding drop feeding then just feed a few balls and then try it in a rally situation okay if you incorporate this into your game you're going to have a much more success all right and not going to be so tired you'll be able to last much longer in really long matches so even though you're you're working on your stamina you want to build that stamina you're not going to find it as uh strenuous as if you're doing that just that side to side movement all right, so that's the tip of the week. Uh, I will see everyone next Monday. All right, have a good day.